Today let us briefly look at the rules for constructing integer constants, floating constants and character constants. So I'll start with integer. So the syntax is first we need to write the data type that is in float character etc. Next we need to write variable name that is user defined variable name uh, equals this is assignment operator I'll come to this later on. After that we can give some value to it. So if we uh, ends with semicolon by the way this is the syntax. If we write equals and value that is called initialization. If we write only data type and the variable name it's called declaration so int is data type i'll give a variable name called a i'll assign a value of 10 this is called initialization declaration as well as initialization so i'll simply print the value of a onto the console so the value of a is 10 okay if you write a decimal point, I'll write 10.5 here. But A is of type data type int. So it only stores the integer part of it in the memory. That is in the memory with the name A. So it will only show value of A is 10. So you can't give floating point number to an integer variable. It simply discards the decimal value. You can't even give comma here. It's usual practice to write like this in some of the countries. So C program doesn't accept special characters like that. So let me remove this. You can't even introduce space here. That's also invalid in C. Yeah, it throws error. So just remove the space and execute it once again and it will simply work. You can even append it with plus or minus symbol. If nothing, if the sign is not specified, it simply takes it as positive. If you want to specify negative numbers, explicitly mention the minus sign. So this is it. And I'll also let you know the range. You can't simply give huge number here for that we have long int and some some more data types which we will cover later on so on the screen you can see for visual studio and gcc compiler the range and for turbo c it's plus or minus uh, minus 32768 to plus 32767 so let's start the same thing for float so it will output 5.0000 so if you don't mention the decimal it will simply output zeros so i'll explicitly give the decimal value too and it will output the value i have entered so the rules are placed the same well you can put plus or minus if nothing is appended it means it's plus you can't introduce space and comma or special symbol here so that's it for character within single code you need to enter only one single character and it works the value of a is a if you enter the same A in double quotes, it doesn't work. It has entirely different meaning. So it doesn't work. Uh, it's telling some pointer and all you don't know pointer. So let's simply ignore it. Just know that we need to write it in single quote. And you can't introduce more characters here because character has only one byte space in the memory and you can't accommodate more things inside that memory. So there will be an overflow. You can enter a special character by the way, it works. But only a single special character, not multiple. Even if you enter a number, it takes it as a character and displays it. You can't make addition operator without converting the data type because it's character type and not number. If you enter 50, it won't work. Again, the overflow of memory occurs. So this is it. 
these are the rules for constructing integer constant floating constant and character constants please share this video with your friends notes to this video is present in the description section of this youtube video stay subscribed to our youtube channel and to our blog and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you